am I ever tired! You fought hard, Lady Two. But one look at you, Scent, and all my fatigue just drains away. Poof! All gone. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> there is no greater honor for me than to aid the kind-hearted Lady Two. Kind-hearted? You really think so? Of course. I mean, you are the girl who's been building orphanages for the less fortunate, in spite of all the chaos surrounding us. Well, of course. I can't just leave them alone. The orphans do seem to enjoy your company. <laughs> Aw, thanks. They really are cute little buggers, huh? They certainly are. And they love getting into all kinds of mischief. But I suppose I could say the same for you, Lady Two. What? Mean? I'm not a child. Apologies, my lady. You most certainly are not. Though your soft, pliable skin and sweet, unsullied fragrance do remind me of a newborn. A, a newborn? Indeed. You make me want to care for you like an innocent babe. Hmm. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. So long as I can bask in your wondrous smile, I require nothing else. Scent, are you happy? Well, that's rather sudden. What's wrong? I mean, I'm happy, right? I love this great guy, and he totally loves me back. We're together every single day, and we're working together to build the world that one wants. And everything's going perfect, you know? So yeah, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. But I'm also scared. <clears throat> you know how water pours out of a cup if you put too much in? It's kind of like that. It's like I have so much happiness, I'm worried it's all going to spill out. I don't know. That probably sounds weird, huh? Not at all. Scent? Would you mind holding me? I want to feel warm and safe. Of course not. So, what should we do next? We should clear out the land of forests. The monsters there are still a serious threat. If you say it, it must be true. Let's go. I know. I know that happiness doesn't last forever. That's why... I want to love him right now with all my heart. Let her leave the forest alive! I thought we were killing monsters, Scent. Why are all these people here? I believe some of the Lord's forces remain in the area. Ugh. I hate to do this, but if they're defying one, they have to die.
is at stake! We can still win this! Just stand your ground! <laughs> And worn out. Well, they are stragglers. Most are pretty badly hurt. Maybe we should try <clears throat> healing them. You know, Tell like we did with power. those orphans. I'm afraid we can't, Lady Two. You understand why I did that? Come right? on. Why I harnessed it's not over the power yet. of your song? Why I used it to cure the orphans and strengthen our soldiers? Because you're kind. Look at it. no big hero. I did it because Makes I wanted sick. them to protect you. And in order to do that, they had to be healthier. Stronger. I strove to forge them into a mighty shield for you, my lady. This song it had nothing to do with your power. power. It's not true. You're super kind. You're my gentle prince. Don't stop! If you stop, you're dead! Are you hurt, my Oh, Santa, you're so strong. You've got power and beauty. You're just perfect. My strength is but a mere fraction of your own, Lady I'm simply driven by far more than your average man. Enough to lay down my life for yours if need be. No! Don't you dare risk your life for me, Sent. If you died on me, I'd... I'd go crazy. I appreciate that, my lady. Don't you... Never die on me, Sint. My lady, I promise not to die. Even if it kills me.
Throughout the endless war, the kind intoner gathered up orphans across the land and cared for them. She didn't have any parents of her own. So she wanted to help others escape the misery that she herself had known. And through it all, her one true love was always at her side. This is the story of a certain couple. A couple that strove endlessly to support each other.